Hello everybody, it's Kevin Matthews with Unique Meats and Grills out of Rogers, Minnesota. Just took delivery of my Maverick 2000 from Pits and Spits out of Texas. And I gotta say, um, I don't think words can describe how awesome this thing is. Um, you see it in pictures, you hear about it on the forums, but to actually like have it in hand and, and in person is just absolutely amazing. Um, 304 stainless uh, lid, 10 gauge steel on that, 7 gauge steel on the body. Ended up uh, with doing the 13 inch front shelf extension. Um, normally they're 9 inches so you get a few extra inches this way. You end up with 12 inches from the lid rolled down to the front of this. Got your paper towel holder, your uh, spot for hanging tools. I went ahead and did the eight inch upgraded wheels. Um, again, one of the, the things that I really wanted to do is be able to be mobile with this thing. Super heavy duty uh, casters and uh, flat free uh, wheels on that. You of course have the pits and spits uh, PID known for its consistent heat. 35 pound hopper, claim to fame here is that pellet dump down there. When you want to dump to a different flavor, pull and go. Um, the body is seven gauge steel on these. As you can see, super, super thick. Everything's welded. There's a sense of craftsmanship on these things. That's just amazing. Uh, on my particular Mav, uh, by stock they come with um, three shelves. Uh, I do a lot of jerky and want to be able to do like a lot of ribs. And so I ended up having them do um, two extra shelves in between for a total of five shelves. Um, they welded those in. Everything's equal except for the ambient temp sensor is right back inside of there. And so the way that it goes, they have to um, have the bottom slot be a little bit bigger, which I'm totally fine with for what I need to do. Uh, in addition to those, I upgraded to a separate jerky rack. Jerky rack actually has the ability to put these anywhere you want them to go. I'm going to use a lot of uh, this for sausage, let them hang down, beef sticks, that kind of stuff. So pretty excited about the flexibility that that offers me. Um, the removable side shelf, which will actually come all the way out to the front on, on this particular model with the extended front shelf, that's 12 inches wide. Um, they're re redesigning it so it can just sit on top of these handles and then they're um, working on having the covers that fit them and all that stuff as well. So that's going to be a couple weeks out, which is, which is totally fine since it's going to live in my garage. But I wanted to basically get all the various features that I could. Another unique aspect of this particular one that is a custom thing is one, I have a trapdoor drip pan, which is available as an option. But uh, two, I actually chose to do To do stainless steel for um, for my drip pan for cleaning and so I know there's been lots of questions about heat um, that removes and allows you to get uh, super hot temperatures right there I think we we're seeing some stuff online about 650 to degrees or so get you a nice sear on the steaks so Overall, very, very excited. I know there's been a lot of questions swirling about um, what all the features are, what's available for custom options, and this one pretty much knocks them all out. I got the Wi-Fi unit as well, so I don't think that there's actually any option that is available on these that I didn't, uh, didn't end up getting. So um, we do have the big ball valve, drain valve down here. Again, everything is just ultra ultra custom and heavy duty and impressive and i just don't really have the words at this point in time to describe 
you know, how excited I am to go ahead and get this thing burned in and to uh, get going on it. So we'll get the lid closed here. Custom made by Pits and Spits, Houston, Texas, baby. So there she is in all of her glory. Excited to get that side shelf going and uh, do some more updates about how she holds temp because in the end, that's what it's all about, right? The consistency. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.